concern in Frederick right now about a pregnant woman who's missing along with her two daughters. With a grieving father and husband left behind. I have no idea like where they went. They did a close-in shot. His eyes were neither red nor swollen. This was not a man that had been up all night worried and crying. He also gave smiles and, and laughter that was completely improper when he was talking about Bella. He says, she was. That's final as an investigator. That jumps out to me as he, he knows that she's already gone. And watch him licking his lips. Psychologically, he's trying to wipe away everything he's saying. In a video confession days later, Watts told his father he murdered Shannon in a fit of rage, claiming she killed their children. The husband of a missing pregnant woman is in jail and now charged with her murder. We have two kids. We live in Colorado, and he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> Despite portraying a happy family on social media, Text messages between Shannon and Watts in the weeks leading up to the murders showed a fractured relationship. Prosecutors say Watts killed his family because of an affair he was having with the co-worker Nicole Kessinger. Take a look at that picture of her and his wife. Do you notice they look an awful lot alike? Now the question remains, where are their bodies? He allegedly told investigators where to find their bodies on a property owned by the company he worked for. If the senseless deaths of their loved ones weren't enough, the discovery of their bodies was gut-wrenching. Shannon's body was found in a shallow grave near the girl's bodies, submerged for days in storage tanks filled with crude oil. He had to break their bones to get them in there. And when they tried to lift the girls up, their skin came off. Christopher Watts has been charged with three counts of first degree murder and three counts of tampering with evidence. His motive was simple, Your Honor. He had a desire for a fresh start. Get a divorce. You don't annihilate your family and throw them away like garbage. Court sentence murderer Chris Watts to life in prison for killing his pregnant wife and daughters. I trusted you to take care of them, not kill them. You heartless monster. Prison is too good for you. When you say, Dr. Phil, who does this? Who does this is a malignant, narcissist, psychopath. That's what makes these people so dangerous. More than three months after confessing to murdering his pregnant wife and two daughters, Chris Watts is sharing new details about the night he killed them in his home in Frederick. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation says last month in a Wisconsin prison, Watts met with federal and local investigators. According to the CBI, he offered new information about the murders of his pregnant wife, Shanann, and daughters, Bella and Celeste. 